Now, before we go on, I want to show you two more things. The next thing I want to show you is how to work with a net. No, not like a normal net with a fish, not like that. We're talking a geometrical net, the net you would kind of use to draw out a shape to make it easier to use. Man, that does make you want goldfish though. Now, so let's talk about a net. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw another pyramid, but this time we're going to draw the net to go with it. That's our pyramid. Now we'll draw the net. This is what it would look like if our pyramid was opened up. If we took our middle, pressed it, and the whole thing just opened. This is what our pyramid looks like with all the sides opened up. Now, all four triangles should still be equal, and this should still be a square. So. Let's put some identifying marks on it. The first thing you want to do is highlight this line right here. This line, which I'm going to make a 6, is correspondent with this line right here, which is a 6. This line, I'm also going to make a 6, which is equal to this line right here. Same thing. We know that therefore this is a square with a square, with an area, total area, excuse me, of 36 units squared. That's this whole section right here. A net helps us visualize the pyramid in a way that's easier to do the math. Now, we have a height on this pyramid. The height on this pyramid can also be found right here. And this height is going to be 4. Now, if all of the triangles are equal, we have everything we need to find the surface area. All we need to do is take this triangle with a base of 6 and a height of 4. Well, let's see here. 1 half times 6 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12 units squared. If each triangle is 12 units squared, and there are 4 of them, that means all 4 triangles are going to be 48 units squared together. We have found that the bottom is 36, and each of the sides is 12. So 48 plus 36 will give us our entire surface area for the pyramid. And when we add those together, of course, make sure you're doing your math correctly, you'll know, okay, well, let's see here. 8 plus 6, got to carry that, okay, so we want to make sure this is a 4. Carry that 1 right there, okay, that's 94. Wait, hold on, that can be right. 84. There we go, 84 units squared is the surface area of our entire pyramid. A net makes it a lot easier to see and a lot easier to do the math because we realize that we have four equal triangles, each one of these being 12, 12, 12, and 12. And that is how we find the surface area of a triangle. We can use the net or just the picture with four equal sides and that square bottom. Don't forget, as a side note, you can also have a triangle, a, py see, a pyramid with a triangular bottom. In this case, nothing changes except for, instead of doing it with the area of a square, now you only have four sides. And you'll find the area of each of these four triangles and add those together. One, two, three, and four. Find the area of all four of them, add them together, and you'll have your surface area of the pyramid. Thanks for playing.